Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to give you some tips and ideas to find motivation for the last exams of the year. As the school year comes to an end, the motivation you had at the beginning of the year fades away and during the last exam period it is completely gone. The last couple of weeks of school just seem endless and your summer vacations seem so close yet so far away. So that's why I have 4 tips to find a little spark of motivation to get you through these last couple of weeks. My first tip is to join a study group. You can either do this in real life or online with apps like Studying Amino. Studying Amino is an app made for students like you and me. Sometimes it's just really nice to talk to other people about struggles and stress for your exams. And on this app you can find people to talk to. You can also join group chats. You can do quizzes to test your knowledge. And this is especially useful for practicing words in another language. And you can share your study progress and see other people's study progress, which I find very motivating. I've used it for a couple of months now and I really enjoy it. My username is Ways to Study, and if you download it, you should definitely add me. I'll leave a link to the app in the description box. You can also join a study group in real life. I like to study with my sister and she is a law student as well. We like to study together when our motivation is really low because we really motivate each other. Before you start studying, make an agreement with the other person that you will notify the other person when that person gets distracted or spends too much time on his or her phone. And this really helps to stay focused on your work and to be as productive as possible. I also like to have study dates with my boyfriend via FaceTime and this can be super motivating if you do it right. I've written an article about it on my website, but my website is currently under construction. But um, I'll leave a link to it once my website is done. My second tip is to change your study environment. Sitting behind your desk for weeks and weeks will make you go crazy. It gets super boring after a while because you know you have to go there again and study all day again and that will work very demotivating. I have some ideas for other places to study. One, another desk in your house, for example your brother's or sister's desk or the dining table and this is a very small change but it will definitely change your mood. The second idea is the house of a friend if you're going to a friend to study. A tip for that, don't chat too much, grab your stuff and start immediately. You go to your friend with a goal and that is studying as much and as fast as you can. If you grab your books and start studying together immediately, you will avoid having long conversations and being distracted all the time you're there. A third idea is the library, and I know not every library allows it, but there are usually desks where you can study in peace. If you live in a noisy house like I do, this might be the perfect solution for you. A fourth idea is in case you don't necessarily need a desk for studying because you have to read something. In that case, you can just sit on the couch in your living room. It is a lot more comfortable and it just doesn't seem that bad when you're relaxing on the couch reading your books. The third tip that I have is to plan in a big break to look forward to. When I was studying with my sister at the library all day, I took a break between 1 and 2 in the afternoon and my sister and I always planned something fun, like going to the supermarket and buy chips, or buy ice cream, or go to the fairways in town, or eat kebab. We always did something to look forward to, and believe me, the morning until 1 o'clock went super fast because we're very excited, yet productive. The little things that get you excited really help you to get through a day full of studying. So really try it because it really helps. My fourth tip is something my sister likes to call panic summaries. It sounds a little bit odd, but it really helps. Studying can get really boring after a while and this is something to make it a little bit more active and quick as well. It's like a summary, but you only write down the main points. Try to write in bullet points, not full sentences. Write down the most important things a paragraph says. Work with different colors to keep it alive and fresh so you won't get bored. Try to only write down things you don't know, because things you already know are already in your head, so there's no need to write that down. Skip all the details. For me, details are something I easily remember when I know what the bigger picture is. Like, give me a rule or formula and I can give you all the information and details behind it, but it's even more important to actively know that rule or formula. 
The key to getting good grades is to actively know the bigger picture of the study material. I think students tend to focus on details and when the bigger picture is given, we can give the teacher or professor all the details behind the main points, but it's actually just as important or maybe even more important to know the bigger picture, the main points. In my panic summary, I like to work with enumerations because that's one of the most difficult things to remember in my opinion. And it's definitely something I focus on when I make these panic summaries. It's almost like a cheat sheet with the most important things on it. The only thing that is different is that you cannot use this during your exam, of course. But it's what you're going to study by heart. This is something to cram. An extra tip from my other sister is something really funny. When she was in high school, she was a freshman at the time, she received some grades back from her teacher and she actually got a 1 out of 10 on her test and this was 5 times in a row. Her teacher made copies of her test so she could give it to her mother, but my sneaky little sister hid it from her and she actually kept it. Now every time she feels unmotivated, she grabs those copies, she looks at them, and she thinks, mm -mm, never again. And then she has enough motivation to get back to work. It worked for her because she graduated last week. So the moral of the story, your breakdown is a breakthrough. I hope these tips are useful to you. And I know a lot of people already have summer vacation, including me, but for some people, the exam period is about to start. And I wish everyone with exams all the best. There is going to be a new study with me video on my channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. If you were in desperate need of a little spark of motivation and this video helped you out, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos with study tips and study vlogs, subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss one. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!